you end up in Australia competing at some point. So yeah. was that a sponsored career to get there? And- yeah. I mean, I did the whole, you know, amateur thing. I, I was on that team that went to Japan in 90, 1990, you know, it was like a, every, all the, you know, Slater and Taylor Knox and all those guys were on it. Um, uh, and I got third in the juniors. Um, everyone was super young on that team. So I was like one of the weaker ones. So they put me in the juniors, like Rob could have won in that easy. <laughs> or whatever. Oh, okay. Um, and then, yeah. And then I, all those guys were clearly better than me, but eventually I, I turned pro too and tried to tried that. And, um, yeah. And I, I was sponsored by OP and body glove and channel islands. And, gotcha. and so, yeah, I tried a couple years, um, and, you know, would lose and just have an existential crisis, you know, on the beach. And I didn't understand that it, it would t- it take persistence. Um, I, th- I thought if I couldn't do it right away, I just had to give up and try something else. There was a lot of pressure um, on myself, I guess, to figure out what I was going to do with my life at that time. What did your parents want you to do with your life? And how do they feel about you pursuing this? <laughs> they did not want me to be a pro surfer at all. Um, they, everyone wanted me to go to college early and, and you know... Um, and it's too bad you can't have a bunch of lives, like parallel lives, and figure out what, what that would have looked like. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and the surfboard thing. So eventually I did get a college degree, an English degree. And, um, yeah, they don't, they don't really care now. What I, <laughs> long, I don't ask them for money. You know, <laughs> I was the, the other. Also, that English degree was about as lucrative as your pro <laughs> surf exactly. career would have been. <laughs> It was, I enjoyed college. It, it was fun. I took my time. I graduated at like 28, you know, I would do it in a semester, then I would travel and then I would, um, I started working construction at that time, um, during college. And then I started shaping, um, at the same time. And I remember, um, you know, no one would ever thank me for digging an incredible ditch, you know, like 20, 20 feet of ditch to lay some pipe or something. The homeowner never came out and gave me any credit, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I could shape somebody aboard. And back then it would take me six hours, you know, because I wanted it to come out right. And I didn't know how to use the tools. But um, it kind of pushed me towards that of, you know, the how much joy I would get from seeing somebody ride something that I made. Um you know, put my labor into, and I just got a ton of joy out of that. And, um, yeah, so that, that helped. That makes sense. Having that experience. Where'd you go to college? At Cal Poly here in San Luis. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to ask how you ended up in this part of the state. Um, it was, so I was surfing in the, in the late eighties and nineties on the PSAA tour. And then that shut down. And, um, and like I said, a lot of the, a lot of my peers were better and made the tour. And I kind of was just figuring out what to do. And, uh, and a friend of mine, Craig Melia, had a room for rent up here and uh, called me and said, hey, I got a room. And so I just drove up and, um, and yeah, started. I had another friend that gave me a job, uh, yeah, digging ditches and humping lumber. And so that was, that's how I ended up here. And then I was just l- fell in love with it. I was going to ask, yeah. what about it? Um just the wide open spaces you can get to real quick that you can't get where, you know, where we grew up mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, kind of the rougher ocean, um, how you could be alone in the ocean pretty quick too. Um, yeah, all those things, just the slower pace. I'm kind of a spaz. So I kind of like environments that are a little bit slower. Like I get too wound up in, in orange County or somewhere like that. Yeah. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> So talking about parallel lives, I love that concept. I had never yeah. thought about if that was yeah. an opportunity. <laughs> uh, now you could have, and for the last two decades, let's say you could have a pro surf career without competing on tour. Mm-hmm. Was that not an option for you back then? And if it well, was, do you think that would have been a something you would have pursued? Um, I mean, I guess I could have. Donovan was actively doing it right in front of was our it? eyes. Okay. Um, he, he wasn't getting great results and he was becoming more and more well-known and uh he's such a funny guy charismatic and um and you know photographers wanted to hang with him everyone wanted to hang with him you know and i uh i kind of had that opportunity i just it wasn't in my character like 
he flame would call me like, where are you? It's, it's sunny. There's, it's going off. And, um, and I'd show up late or whatever. I just like, didn't like the, the, the scene of, you know, eight guys with one photographer. And again, like everyone's competing and it changed surfing for me to something that was like, it wasn't that fun to be a pro surfer in that respect for me. Yeah. I didn't, it didn't fit my personality. 